I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I feel kind of unsettled leaving my film there. What? you guys today is the day that we will be developing the film from these two cameras okay i gotta show you that okay we gotta develop the film for this camera the lomo la sardina very important and then we also got to develop the film from this camera the yashica aw mini the last time i used this camera was when i went to new york so we gotta develop this film oh wait and then also a friend's wedding so yeah, have to take the film out of these two cameras. Let go! So for the AW Mini, I don't have to rewind the film or anything because it's an automatic camera. It just does it by itself once the film ends. But for the La Sardina, it's a more labor-intensive camera, so I have to rewind it by myself. And then I can take it out and then develop it. Hi! Could somebody help me with photos? Uh, she's still oh, okay. Thank you. I want to see if you guys do developing. Um, yeah. So, for the developing, uh, it takes about one to two weeks, just depending on how busy they are. Oh, okay. But you'll fill one of these out for each roll. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, you'll just it in that box. Okay. Uh, you can just hear how hesitant I was by the way I said, okay, but look at this box opening. It's ginormous. I just got to trust the process though. I'm just showing you guys that this paper says your negatives will not be returned. So develop or process your film with caution. you guys i feel kind of unsettled leaving my film what? there two weeks later okay, i'm gonna go in and get my photos guys guys look i got my photos okay guys so initially dropping off the film was a bit sketchy but after picking it up and everything now i can feel really rest assured because my film and my photos are in my hands but like originally when i first just put my film and was like writing the paperwork and stuff like that i was just so sketched out because i was so afraid that they would lose my film now i mean it's not worth that much money, but a lot of my memories are on this these rolls of film that I've taken. I don't even remember what I've taken on these cameras, but I was just so worried that they would lose it. But turns out it was perfectly fine. Honestly, if you don't care about having your negatives back, then uh, developing at Walmart or Walgreens or any big box store is perfectly fine. I mean, granted, you don't lose your film because that box, the opening was like this big so that you can put your film canister in the envelope and everything and it's just like, people can just put their hand in there and just pick it out, you know, like, who knows, you might lose your film, but um, now that I have my film back, I feel like, hey, it's not a bad idea to send it to Walmart to get it developed because sometimes you don't want your negatives back. They put it on a CD for you so you can, I mean, who uses CDs anymore, but if you still have like a CD reader or a disc reader or something like that on your computer, then put it on your computer and then you have a digitalized version of your photos and you can put it on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. But um, if you, I mean, if you don't, then I don't know. You can scan or you can take a photo of each of the photos that they printed out um but yeah oh yeah they also print out your photos which is awesome because at my local photography store they actually charge you for every photo that you print so by walmart just printing it out by default is actually pretty nice also at my local photography store they also charge you for each scan too so if you want them all scanned then they charge for that if you don't care for your negatives then i would just go to walmart or walgreens and 
get it developed there rather than going to your local photography store. I mean, support your local photography store, but sometimes it gets ridiculous because they charge you for every scan, every print. I mean, I don't need to print my photos out, but sometimes if I do, then they charge you for every print and then for every scan and then getting it processed and all that stuff. It's just, it gets really pricey. So, uh, I mean, if you don't care for negatives, just go to Walmart and get it developed. Um, I mean, quality wise, I could say that this is probably better than the place that I originally used to get my film developed back in New York because sometimes I don't want to drive to downtown so I would just ship a whole bunch of film to New York. They would develop it, process it, scan it for a very cheap price but sometimes the quality of the scan gets a little bit iffy so I mean the, with the quality that I have from the ones from Walmart are pretty decent and also I feel like Walmart doesn't charge you an arm and a leg for film, whereas the, my local store, they would charge me $60 for three rolls of film to get it developed, processed, and scanned. Uh, and that's not even including it printing it out, you know? And whereas here, I spent like 20 bucks for two rolls of film, which is a lot better than spending $60, $70. I, I remember one time, the sprinklers are on. I remember one time even paying up to a hundred dollars to get my film scanned and processed and it was so expensive it was getting ridiculous um, so yeah not a bad experience I mean the people at my local Walmart are pretty nice too so I mean it's just if your Walmart offers this type of service then I highly recommend but yeah my photos are back I'm so happy with the quality uh, some of the photos that I got from my friend's wedding These are the printed out. I think this is like a 4x6 printed out Yeah, pretty good quality. Um, it's on matted paper Pretty nice. I like it so far uh, If you have a Walmart near you or somewhere by the way, this is not sponsored by Walmart I just so happen to need to get my film developed like fast and also if I don't get it developed now I would never do it because I would just forget about it all the time so that day I just was like I'm just gonna drop it off at Walmart and forget about it you know and here it is my film is back and I'm super happy with the quality highly recommend uh, if you are on a tight budget and you need to get your film just developed anywhere just bring it to Walmart Walgreens or any place like that if your local photography shop offers this type of thing and it's at a decent price just do it there because support local right but my local photography store literally charges me an arm and a leg to get it developed it's just too far away too so that is all for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog and i will see you guys next time adios